Hello, this is Kaylee Gonzalez. I'm with MLC CAD Systems. Today I want to discuss zones inside of SOLIDWORKS drawings in respect to SOLIDWORKS inspection. I have an existing SOLIDWORKS inspection project open and I have some balloons on here as well. If I take a look at balloon number 14, I'm going to notice that its character zone is referencing an area that's not actually on this drawing. This is a common issue when we receive native SOLIDWORKS drawings from our own customers and vendors. What is actually being pulled into this location because I don't have a row for D and I don't have a column for six. To shed some additional light on this situation, I'm going to show my zone lines. These zone lines that are appearing in the dashed red lines are what SOLIDWORKS is actually referencing and therefore what SOLIDWORKS inspection is also referencing. So what we really want to do is make sure that our zones and our drawing are matching up so that this information is going to be accurate for our first article inspection. The way that we can do this is inside of our sheet format and working with our automatic border. I don't need to delete anything, so I'm immediately going to skip that into my zones. We can see here exactly what's going on. I'm currently set to have six rows and eight columns. First thing, I'm going to change this to two rows and two columns, and we're already starting to look better. We just want to make some minor changes to now really line these up to the original sheet format that came with the drawing. I'm going to change my region to margins. And this is going to allow me to change the actual margins of my sheet format outline. And I can even change the bottom to make sure everything is going to be lined up perfectly. And we're looking really good. The last thing that I want to do is get rid of some of this duplicate information that's appearing here and that's as simple as going down to my zone labels and turning those items off. From now I'm going to exit my my sheet format. We've made those changes. We look really good. Notice that my character zone still has not updated. Because we're utilizing ballooning from SOLIDWORKS inspection, I need to go into the SOLIDWORKS inspection tab and update the project. This is going to allow SOLIDWORKS to refresh the balloons and all the character zones are now going to be correct. So if we take another look at number 14, we can see that this is in character zone B2. And we now have all of our zone information corrected and we're ready to export this into our first article inspection report.